Hi guys, today I'm going to be going over the Egyptian uh, hoax of the Sphinx and the uh, pyramids and uh, what really um, is re-happening and how they were built. If you can see here from the Sphinx, this is a very close-up shot. The Sphinx was made in a clay form before in a little model. And what they did is they hashed out the lines around the model so that they, they can then do a full life model of this. And what they did is they casted one level on top of another and before it dried, before it turned to hard rock. What they did is they worked on it, so they sculpted it. That's really what they did with this. There's really nothing special about the Sphinx, okay? Coming up, we're going to have a Geopolymer Institute demonstrate these stones being built um, just like the blocks in the pyramids. So we're going from the Sphinx now to the pyramid blocks. And be very aware, I'm not going to be speaking during this video. The limestone we used consists of fossil shells called neumilites, like those in the Giza bedrock. Like in Giza, our French limestone is so loosely bound it doesn't require crushing. But unlike in Giza, it contains no kaolin clay. We heap the cement additives, lime, natron and kaolin clay, near the limestone. The two components will react in the water and build in situ uh, geological glue which will then <coughs> yield the hard geopolymeric rock agglomerated limestone. We start making the cement by mixing sodium carbonate found in Egyptian natron and lime in 500 liters of water. We then add the kaolin inherent to Giza limestone and stir the mix with a wooden tool. We dump one ton of limestone rubble into the basin and mix it with the cement. Several days later, water has evaporated from the basin, so we remove the disaggregated limestone for making the block. Inspecting the mixture, 95% limestone aggregates and only 5% rock-making binder. Between 12 and 17% of water give it the consistency of wet sand. One squeezes the mixture with his hand and it keeps its shape. This batch will quickly gain strength. We do all of the work manually, forming a human chain carrying buckets from the mixing area to the mold. We pour the limestone concrete mixture in a mold and pack it down with a tool called a rammer. Compacting the material requires little effort. The packing operation encourages cohesion and the denser mixture takes on high strength from the initial curing phase. When the climate is warm and beautiful, our crew rapidly produces a re-agglomerated limestone that proved strong, dense and true to the plant's size and shape. The mold consists of small wooden boards, which can be reused many times for making other blocks. In this ideal weather, the whole process runs smoothly and is very simple. We remove the mold four hours later. The synthetic limestone looks like a natural stone. We observe no trace of wood grain. Four blocks have already been made. Joseph Davidovitz presents them. The two large blocks weighing up to 4.5 tons containing most water have given smoother surfaces. The two small blocks weighing up to 1.3 tons, the least wet, take on rougher surfaces. When you look at the stones of the pyramid, this is what you see. You see either smooth blocks or very crude blocks. And we have replicated all these surfaces just by varying the amount of water, which depends on the climate, which depends on the weather. Joints between blocks are also perfect. It will take three months for the stones to fully cure because of the climate of northern France. In 4,000 years, will future archaeologists insist that our imitation pyramid stones are natural limestone?
Okay guys, now after watching that video, now what we're going to do is we're going to show you the way that modern houses are done. Now in this very short clip here, you have the regular block standard for wall and you have the precast uh, wall. Um, and they both have their advantages and disadvantages, but the precast is what's mostly being done today. Over in Europe, this is still popular with the blocks, okay? So that's what they do mostly in Europe. Here in North America, it's mostly the uh, precast with wood forms, just as they did in Egypt. And here's what it looks like in the block mode. Okay, so this is a wall made of blocks uh, with mortar in between, and you have the first floor uh, wood already put in. And now coming up is the precast. And you notice that these are the precast forms. Uh, here in North America, we don't use the uh, styrofoam. Looks like that's what they're using here. We just uh, pour the cement right in there. These are could be as deep as 12 feet for the basements. And you can see that's what he's doing here, putting cement through the forms, just wood forms. So as you can see, we're in 2018 and we're still casting our uh, foundations as was done in Egypt thousands of years ago. It's incredible to see this. This is where you live. Your foundations were cast. In North America, this is mostly what we do today. Thanks for watching.